We're back with another episode of Product Showdown. Um, this is the No Problem. So I have trouble saying that by Touch and Soul, and this is the Magic Perfecting Base by L'Oreal. Uh, again, I used this side um, for the L'Oreal, and this is Touch and Soul. I feel like I'm doing these primers a favor, okay? I feel like I'm putting my girl L'Oreal through it, but it's just because I think she's that good. Honestly, I feel like she's that good. But we'll see. They both look really good on the skin right now. They feel, my skin feels great. I didn't use any setting sprays again. Um, I just used the primers, the foundation, and some powder. Um, today I will be doing a lot of cooking. So there's going to be heat and my makeup might break up. But we'll see. Um, I don't think today I'll do a lot of check-ins. I'll just do a check-in at the end of the night. I won't touch up my face. Normally I just don't ever touch up my makeup. The only time that I ever do it's usually just like my eyelashes, my eyes watering. That tends to be a problem up in here. So if that's going on then I will touch up like my eyes. But I don't normally touch up my face. Um, it's just too much work. And remember, I wear glasses. So there's definitely going to be some breakage here. Um, but stay tuned. Let's see how these primers hold up. I am going to use the L'Oreal. And then on the other side, we're gonna do the no problem uh, primer. We're gonna do, I just did one squirt. The texture, I would describe this texture a lot like the Benefit uh, Professional. It's very, very um, smooth on the skin. There's like no grip to it, like it's very smooth. And it smells, it smells really good actually. It smells like cologne, which could be a good thing or it could not be a good thing, I don't know. And fragrance, a lot of people if you're sensitive to fragrances, this might not be the best primer for you, but it's really smooth. And again, this side has a little bit more of a stick to it. It is, it does feel very smooth, but it's a little bit more sticky so we're gonna take the same foundation that we took last week the jouet this is in the color bronze and i'm just putting that on a palette <laughs> i forget what they're called i'm just stippling my brush on there like this oh this one's a little bit light but um i'm gonna fix it with another foundation So that was in the shade bronze, and I'm gonna take a little bit of maple. Maple on its own is slightly too dark for me, so I'm just gonna apply it on top of there um, and mix in the both shades and put that on the bottom just so I can match like the rest of my body. And I always go in with like a beauty blender to blend. Any like brush st strokes that might still be on the face. We'll see how much product it picks up. Like doing this helps to get rid of any ex extra product that might be on your face. And a lot of times having that extra product is what makes you oily throughout the day. And it's um, what can cause your makeup to start breaking up. I'm going to use this e.l.f. Camo Concealer. This is like... I like it, but I don't. Uh, but we're gonna give it a try today. Oh no. That's a no. And you, you have to work really fast with this concealer. This concealer like sets in place, and once it sets in place, you cannot move it. Ciate powder, everyday vacay coconut setting powder. It does a really good job of like filling in pores and making your skin look really, really smooth. Remember, we don't want to look dusty. No dusty bitches. We're gonna clean off our dusty eyebrows. If you find that your eyebrows get like really, really filled with powder, what you can do is spritz your um, you're spooling with alcohol. Use it to brush your hairs and it'll pick up any powder. So this is basically it for my um, face. I am going to keep it pretty simple today. 
I'm not doing anything else. I will be cooking today and I'll be in like the heat. Um, and a lot of times when there's like very high temperatures, your foundation can break up. So, um, I'll see how my foundation holds up and which side looks better by the end of the night. What I'm going to do right now is I am just going to zoom you in um, so you can see the difference with powders and everything on top. This is the Chen Sol, no problem. Side L'Oreal side. I mean, if you really compare, I feel like you can see a lot more pores still here, and this one, they seem to appear much smaller. So you all decide. So it's been another long day here in this household. I've had my makeup on now for about seven hours. It's not the longest time, but it's a decent amount of time. Um, I just want to say that both of these primers are amazing. I didn't think that the Touch and Soul primer was this good. However, I don't think it beats L'Oreal. Um, they're very similar and they perform very well. If you can see, I think both sides of my face look great. Not one side is not more oily than the other. But me being me and me being very detail oriented, I, I like look at things that other people don't look at. And there's definitely more breakage on this side. I'm gonna zoom you in so you can really see. But on the touch and sole side, my left side of the face, there is definitely more breakage. The makeup did separate a little bit more. It definitely separated around my nostril area, but I'm not going to count that because I've just been having a runny, runny nose all day long. And my eyes have been watering as well, so that's why there's no concealer <laughs> underneath my left eye. It's allergy season, y'all. But I will say that they perform pretty similar. That's not to say that the L'Oreal side is flawless and perfect my makeup did break up just slightly but i think that there's bigger areas on the left side of my face so just for that i'm gonna give it to l'oreal also l'oreal is cheaper and i just feel like that just you know it just makes it that much more special because it's cheaper it's at it's a cheaper price it's more affordable it's drugstore it's not supposed to be that good and it is i'm gonna give it to l'oreal so L'Oreal is going to face off Tatcha. I am going to give L'Oreal a break. I've been giving her my right side of the face. Y'all know that that's my bad side. My photogenic side is my left side. So I'm going to give next round, I'm giving L'Oreal my left side. And Tatcha can handle the right side. And we'll see if that changes anything. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Awkward. No wear glasses on camera, Lils. I'm just going to take a big blush. No. Brush, brush. Pendejo. I always think they say pendejo, but it's perfecto. This is a little too close for comfort, but let me zoom.